Hey everyone, I'm Akash. And I'm Matt. And today we're going to show you how you can use your time in self-isolation to get fit. Yeah, so we've laid out a simple workout plan for all of you to do in the comforts of your room. So just follow through as we go and we hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, so the first exercise we have is the classic push-up. And here I've got Matt to demonstrate it for all of you. Start by getting on the ground with your arms a uh, little outside of shoulder width and your legs straightened out, stuck together. From this position, all you have to do is go down, straight to the ground. Make sure your chest touches the floor as, chest is as close to the floor as possible. And the only thing you have to really focus on is to make sure your, your elbows don't flare and that your back doesn't fall or uh, drop. And just focus on getting quality repetitions over quantity. So if you find this variant too difficult, you can try by keeping your knees on the ground and going sort of like this. Slightly easier variant for some of you out there. If this is too easy for you, if the normal push-up is also too easy, you can add some elevation to your push-up by keeping your feet on say your couch or your bed and then do this decline variant where it's following the same principles of going down chest as close to the floor and making sure your elbows don't flare out. So as you can see, Matt's elbows are close to his body, not flaring out, and his hips are raised. Yeah, thank you, Matt. All right, so the second exercise on the list is the bodyweight squat. And for this, you're gonna start off by standing a little wide shoulder width. From here, you're gonna tuck in your core and go down as far as you can while making making sure that your back is aligned. I'm gonna just come and make sure of that. Yeah. So a lot of people make the mistake of when they're squatting, their back starts to hunch like this. Your main focus should be to keep it straight and aligned like this. And then from here, just come back up. Another thing to focus on is your glutes. So after this position, when you're coming up, make sure you squeeze your glutes and drive forward and squeeze them at the end. That's why they call it like a total body exercise. Another thing to focus on is that when you're coming back up, make sure your knees don't cave in in this manner. This is a sign of weak glutes. You wanna make sure you're going only as far as you can and then you're coming back in one straight path. If this is too hard for you, then you can use like a bed or a couch as some support. Stand in front of it and then do the same thing again. Maintain your back and come back up. That's a little too easy for you. You can add a jump at the end or a pause. So the pause can be something like coming back down, staying here for a couple of seconds and then coming back up. A jump can be coming like this and then jumping at the end. That adds a, a little more intensity to your exercise. Hey Matt, that's not a dumbbell. Dude, we're isolating. Okay, I have a better option. Get rid of that. So for this one, have a quick look around your room and find any daily objects that are fairly heavy. So it can be a speaker, it can be a books, and start loading them up in a backpack. So as you can see, we've loaded this bag with some books, magazines, maybe an old laptop. This adds a certain amount of weight to your bag. Feel free to adjust this based on your strength level. And now you can treat this as a makeshift dumbbell. And then start by curling the, the bag in a straight motion all while keeping your elbow fixed and tucked in. The main thing you should focus on is to straighten your arm at the end completely. Keep your breathing intact. And if you wanna make this harder, you can slow down the movement of coming down. This is known as the eccentric part of the movement. Adds more tension to your bicep. Sweet. Next up, we have the hip glute bridge. So find a fairly elevated uh, object, say a bed or a table or a couch. Get on the floor, come close so that your knees are about 90 degrees from the object and on it. From here, you're gonna come up in this fashion. The main thing you should focus on is to make sure your hips are raised as far as possible and that you're squeezing your glutes on the way up. You should be feeling a strong contraction of your glutes and your hamstrings when you come up. 
And another thing you should focus on is to make sure that your knees, like the squat, don't cave in on the way out like this. Try to keep your knees out throughout the motion of the exercise. If this is too easy for you, you can lift one leg in the air and add a one leg very into the exercise. The movement remains the same. It just adds more tension to your glutes and your hamstrings. If this is too hard for you, you can uh, maybe keep the elevation a little lower. Um, or go on the ground. Or go on the ground, yeah. So you can come back down and do it on the ground. Try not to touch the ground on the way down. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, Akash. And to finish off the workout, we have laid out three cardio exercise options for you. So the first one is going to be the mountain climber. Get on the ground in the same push-up position and start by driving your knees forward in an alternate way. So. And so the faster you do that, the harder it is, right, Akash? Yep. Keep it intense. Yeah. Second, we have the high knee. Make sure you're landing on the balls of your feet, not on your heels, but if your knees. And bring your knees up as high as you can. Yeah. Drive them to your chest. Yeah. And the final option is a burpee. So this is a combination of a push up and a jump at the end. So you jump, come back down, push up, jump. Down. And this wraps up your home workout. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, I'm Akash and I'm Matt. <laughs> yeah, so we've got laid out a simple workout plan for you. Just record it like that. And today we're going to show you what, how you can use your fucking. Go again, quick. Matt, that's not a dumbbell. Dude, we're well, isolating. Well, I have a better option. Come over here. <laughs> so, for this one, everyone. And I'm Matt, and today we're going to show you. Matt, that's not a dumbbell. Dude, we're isolating. Well, I have a better option. Get rid of that. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Akash, and this is Matt, and we're here to show you how to do some simple workout videos at large. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how you can use your time in self-isolation to get fit. Yeah, so we've laid out a simple workout plan for all of you to <laughs> That's gonna finish your workout in good fashion. Hey guys, I'm Akash. This is Matt, and we're here to show you how to do some really simple, like, um, workout videos. Cut, cut, cut.